What's going on YouTube? It is Black Shaw back at it with a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Monday! We're gonna make it through this week, okay? So don't be down about it. But anyway, I was requested to check out this video. It's called Top 10 Forbidden Tourist Attractions You Are Not Allowed to Visit. Now look here. I do want to travel and see different viewpoints and environments of the world before it all goes to hell and burn the... Well, not, let me not say that. But yeah, you get my point, but, you know, obviously you have to be there, you know, be financially prepared um, and things as such. You know, you don't want to go out of, you know, out of the country. You ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? You can't buy a souvenir. You can't buy some food. You can't do nothing. You can't go sightseeing. You got to have some money. You know what I'm saying? Every, shit ain't free and money don't grow on trees. But however, that don't mean I want to go everywhere because I don't care. Y'all can call me scared, whatever. I'm not going to Australia, okay? And some of y'all, y'all... Off the dome, know why. Like, it's not necessarily because of the people or because of how it looks in Australia. It's beautiful from pictures I've seen and whatnot. But the damn insects, specifically motherfuckers with eight legs and eight eyes and shit. Who the hell is that? No, sorry, Bob. No, ma'am. Re, ma'am. Mary had a little lamb. Nothing like that. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm Gotti. All right? I don't want no parts of it because I'm telling you something. What the fuck I'm going to do with that? Like, seriously, that, compared to shit in America, no. That's like damn near genetically edited edited bugs and shit. What am I going to do with that? So anyway, without any further ado, let's check out this video, okay? In about a three, two, one. There are some places you definitely don't want to put on your bucket list. Welcome to WatchMortal.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 forbidden tourist attractions. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at places that sound cool and interesting to visit, but are sadly off limits to tourists for one reason or another. Number 10, Ilha da Queimada Grande, also known as Snake Island, Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's why. Would be visitors be warned? I'm this good. island's name is not a misnomer or just a colorful anyway. nickname. With an estimated 3,000 specimens living on the island, this small chunk of land has the highest concentration of venomous snakes in the world. Situated yeah, in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Brazil, Snake Island is almost exclusively visited by scientists interested in studying the local wildlife. Because rising water levels cut the island off from the mainland, Today, it's completely overrun by the critically endangered yet extremely venomous Golden Lancehead Pit Viper. Ooh, that if bit, vicious. symptoms attributed to its venom range from innocuous swelling to deadly brain hemorrhage and the premature death of vital tissue. Given that there I'm are good. also no hospitals on Snake Island, being bitten what? out there is pretty yeah, much a death bad. sentence. Unless you bring your own doctor, of course. This is like the worst place I've ever been. And they camping out there and shit. It's like literally, it's like humans don't come here. Number nine, yeah, Bohemian good. Grove, Monterio, California. Public imagination is awash with stories of secret societies, but one very real organization does exist and holds its meetings in the isolated Bohemian Grove in rural California. This high society out. summer camp is a playground for the world's elite, having boasted members like former US presidents, Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. Mm. At its height, there is said to be more than 2,000 men who attend, and as you can imagine, they are well protected by a trove of police. Oh, is Taking that what they place do that in mid-July, the encampments last two weeks, with infiltrators describing bizarre owl-centered rituals and plays See? performed for the entertainment of other members. The all-male membership can also use the facilities for private meetings, like a 1942 conference what kind of concerning the Manhattan Project. Doing over there? And while women, children, and non-members are allowed on the grounds, they I must be anyway. gone by nightfall and cannot attend the mysterious July encampments. Number eight, Nihau, I heard they also be doing known as the Forbidden Isle, Hawaii, USA. Many people joke we'll about, about buying their own tropical island if they had the money. Well, in 1864, that dream became a reality for the Sinclair family, whose descendants are now called the Robinsons. This island was sold Beautiful. to Elizabeth Sinclair by King Kamehameha V, with strict Kamehameha. instructions to preserve the native Nihauan way of life. The Robinsons have restricted outside access to it ever since, doing what they can to keep their promise to the king. It is a privately oh, owned island, though. and so nobody is allowed that's to come out here. Um, even that's the, like the shoreline and the breakers are owned by the family. 
Although the Robinsons have allowed some limited access to outsiders since 1987, it remains difficult to get permission to visit, and so Ni Hao is still nicknamed the Forbidden Isle. Number 7. Surtse, Vestmanaier wow. Archipelago, Iceland oh, Named pretty. for the Norse fire giant Surtur and roughly half a square mile in surface area, Surtse is a hot spot for geological Savage activity. Earth. The Icelandic island was born in the 1960s thanks to a volcano, with the underwater eruption oh. that created it lasting more than three years, oh, from no. November 1963 to June 1967. Because of the relative rarity of a new island popping up pretty much out of nowhere, and to ensure that as few outside forces affect the island's ecological makeup as possible, only scientists may visit. These researchers are studying how life establishes itself on a new landmass, with Sortsi currently being inhabited by many seabirds, plants, and seals. Number hmm. 6. Povelia, the Povelia. Venetian Lagoon, Italy Dubbed the most haunted place in the world by some, well, that's why Povelia Island was regularly inhabited until the 14th century and eventually served to defend Venice. But after that, it all went downhill. Oh, the island oh. was used predominantly to quarantine plague victims en masse and burn the corpses. This is an abandoned island that legend says was formed by the ashes of the thousands upon thousands infected by the bubonic plague. Then, in the 1920s, Spooky. it became an insane asylum run by a mad doctor who ultimately committed suicide by jumping from the site's bell tower. Why? He said the ghosts drove him insane. Today it stands empty and dilapidated, and the Venetian authorities don't exactly encourage public access, though it does fascinate paranormal investigators and ghost hunters alike. Some may doubt nope. it's haunted, but it sure looks the part. His static night vision camera back in the I hospital in. room captured what appears to be a black mist, Look manifesting and then disappearing into thin air, and at the same time you can hear an unexplained moan. Number 5. Svalbard Global Seed Vault, Spitsbergen, Norway One of the most secure places on Earth is this location, nicknamed the Doomsday Seed Vault. What Located the hell is on an isolated Brazil? Norwegian island in the Arctic Circle, the vault contains samples of as many seeds and plants that exist on the planet as the researchers there can acquire. I have quite good feeling when I'm in here and know that this is a resource that uh, the future will need. Seed goes extinct every day. The idea is that in the event of a global catastrophe or apocalyptic event, these important seeds and genomes oh, will be no. preserved for humanity's future use. They built this yeah, like they built the tunnels in the Alps with a big machine, big, a big excavator. Took about two years to build, and it's built to last for a very long time. As of 2018, it yeah, only stored about 900,000 samples, but it has the potential to store as many as 4.5 million, hopefully safeguarding Earth's ecology from disaster. Anyway, as you can imagine, visits to the seed vault are pretty much entirely off limits, for obvious security reasons. Number 4. The Chapel of the Tablet, Aksum, Ethiopia The Ark of the Covenant is the legendary item that apparently contained the Ten Commandments. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant, the chest the Hebrews used to carry around the Ten Commandments. And today, it's supposedly kept oh, wow. safe and sound in a chapel That's in the Ethiopian ancient. Church of Our Lady Pretty Mary of Zion. This house of worship has existed in some form since the 4th century, and its monks are tasked with guarding the Ark day and night for life. And where is the Ark of the Covenant? Well, the Ethiopians, both Christians and Jewish of the Ethiopians, okay. believe that's in a church in Ethiopia. However, no one except one guardian monk each generation has ever been allowed to see the Ark itself, casting mm. doubt on their claims. What's more, only men can Which enter I the old church. Oh, wow. Well, if the real Ark is as face-meltingly awesome as its cinematic counterpart, they're pretty Jeez, sure even the they'd be happy to keep their distance. Bye, Number 3. Lascaux Caves, Montignac, France Anyone Discovered in okay? 1940, this complex cave network is decorated Absolutely. with more than 600 primeval paintings by ancient cave people. Depicting various plants and animals, these works of art are thought to be roughly 17,000 years old. Wow. Obviously, this fascinating find intrigued the masses. And once they were open to the public in like 1948, they began receiving over a thousand sightseers per day. Sadly, with them, these visitors brought carbon dioxide, humidity, and other pollutants that severely damaged the images. The famous cave Thanks of Lascaux had to be shut down because the breath Humans of scores of tourists has caused mold to grow on the walls. 
1963, the caves were closed to anyone except restoration workers and archaeologists, though a replica was constructed for tourists to visit in the early 1980s. Today, due to further deterioration, the Lascaux Caves are even restricted to preservationists. Ah. Number 2. North Sentinel Island – Andaman Islands The cliché of undiscovered tribes living in the wilderness and attacking oh, foreigners on site is alive and well when it comes to North Sentinel Island. This is technically an Indian territory, and the Indian government makes it clear that anybody who ventures to North Sentinel Island does so at their own risk. Permission well, has very it. rarely been granted to visit the tribal areas. This is because the native people are the most isolated group on the planet, and True. they've been known to violently attack and sometimes kill those who try to have contact with them. Whenever we tried to approach them, they were ready with their bows and arrows, and they were firing away arrows at our boat and aiming at the people who are making wrong kind of gestures. The island is almost entirely untouched by modern civilization, and the Sentinelese will do anything to keep it that way. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. These are the reading rooms of the Vatican archives. Every year, some 1,500 scientists from all over the world come here to do research. Wow. But this Them is as far as books. anyone gets. Japan? The, oh, the great... I... The explosions that erupted from the Chernobyl reactor vessel and the constant fire that continued for 10 days or so resulted in large amounts of radioactive materials being released into the environment. Oh, great. Evacuation of Pripyat took place the day after. Number 1. Area 51, Lincoln County, Nevada, USA Probably the most that. mysterious place in America. Area 51 has captured the public's interest ever since stories about UFOs and aliens began to surface in the mid-20th century. This base didn't have its existence formally acknowledged by the CIA until 2013, when a Freedom of Information Act request for documents finally forced the government to declassify papers pertaining to the remote spot. According to these documents, the base's purpose was to test experimental planes during the Cold War, and not to hide mm. evidence of aliens as is popularly thought. Though this hasn't stopped people from speculating. Trespassing here could result in you being arrested, or worse, shot by U.S. soldiers for your trouble. Do you agree with our- Okay, so, um, I remember hearing about certain stuff about Area 51 having to do with aliens and UFOs and shit. I, I don't know much about it, but I mean, it's like, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of spooky. You know, I don't want nothing to do with it. Just leave it the fuck over there. If it's aliens, leave us the fuck alone. If y'all come over here, don't vaporize me. I come in peace. We can take out the enemies, okay? I'm with y'all, if it comes down to it. Hopefully not, but if it was, don't vaporize me, okay? Shit, I didn't do nothing. But, um, Bohemian Grove. I've heard about that, definitely. I mean, they talked about it on movies, hell, TV shows, hell, YouTube conspiracy videos and shit. About how they do very, like, ritualistic, satanic, um, <coughs> type of shit. Sacrificial lamb type of shit. Like, they be sacrificing babies and people and all that Illuminati type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how true it is. I mean, I'm not gonna go over there to find out. You know what I'm saying? Like with the whole owl and stuff, you know, Drake's OVO symbol, you know what I'm saying? Because they say in Hollywood, I mean, that's what most of their asses do any fucking way. I don't know. I don't want to find out, but I mean, hey, do that shit over there. Leave it way the fuck over there. I don't want nothing to do with it. But regarding back to like places that they don't necessarily allow tourists and stuff to do is because like humans fuck shit up. I'm sorry, but I mean, we, we have, you know what I mean? I.e. climate change. You know, some of y'all asses because you see, I'm not a litter bug anymore. I used to, I mean, I, I wasn't a heavy litterer anyway. So it was only like once in a blue moon, I would throw a piece of paper or something out or whatever, spit a piece of gum out, whatever. Most of y'all, y'all are just trifling and sad as hell. It could be a garbage can. Like, y'all coming out of a grocery store or some or a gas station, a liquor store, whatever. It'll be a gas tr gas train. What? It'll be a trash can right by you, and you will still throw that shit on the curb. That's just, that's just, that's just disappointingly lazy. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, y'all throw shit in the water, and then that gets to the animals. Not, you know, y'all remember that story with the whale with the 50 fucking plastic bags in his system? Come on, that's sad. 
And seriously, we humans are to blame for a lot of the shit on Earth dying. Animals and, 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 and you know, pollution and the water and other shit. You know, so busy. The gov I'm not going to speak too much on this, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, certain people that are in the higher ups, you know, the quote-unquote powers that be, you know, the government, you know, Freemasons, whatever. They control, they have like, they have the power to change a lot of shit, but they don't. They want to spend more, more money on war and, uh, you know, things that destructs us and the world itself. You know what I mean? They have so many damn movies about world mass destruction. It's just like, it's fucking scary because it's like just the thought of that happening in reality. It's not actually a movie anymore. That terrifies the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, hell, even Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure other rappers talk about too, but to be specific in this example from like the song from Black Panther, he was like, you know, mass destruction, mass corruption or something like that. He was like, you know, deaf ears, you know, people don't really listen, you know, rapture is coming. What does that sound like to you? You know what I'm saying? Like people, they just listen to the beat. Oh, this be cold, son. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let me merely rock. But you need to listen to the motherfucking words, bitch. Words, okay? These songs, most of these songs nowadays, and hell, even back then, they not just songs. But you see, when we were young, we weren't thinking about that. Even some of us today, we still just listen to the songs and not pay attention to the words necessarily. Some A rapper can just say he sold his soul to the devil. And your ass will still be bopping your head to that shit. I would be like, I mean, hell, Kanye West said that shit live at concert. Live at concert, live in concert, whatever the fuck, when he uh, signed over to Rockefeller. It's your boy, the rock hole, you know. So I definitely wouldn't want to go there any motherfucking way. Bohemian Grove, it sounds like a spooky type of place. I've seen the pictures. Like I said, I heard they do Illuminati, satanic, uh, what's that other word, ritualistic type of shit, okay? Sacrificing motherfuckers for their greater good. I'm good on that shit, okay? You ain't sacrificing me and I ain't sacrificing no damn body because, honey, when Judgment Day come, look the fucker out. Also, the place with the snakes and shit, uh, what is it called? Uh, Snake Island, Ahada, Quata, Quasa de la Grande. I'm not trying to be funny, but I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that, basically. Snake Island, and this is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I apologize if I'm not saying this correctly. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. But, um, and just like the place with all that water, what is it, um, over there in, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bear with me, y'all, bear with me. What the heck? That one place they come with the damn big-ass water and stuff, the high-rising water. I don't, you see, that's one of my fears. Like I said before in a previous video, big-ass tidal waves, hurricanes, shit like that. It's like. The way they show that shit in the movies is like, you know, what the fuck can you do? Unless you are like Falcon or something, you can fly some shit, you got a chopper close by, you're fucked. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. And just the thought of that, all this water like crashing down on the earth, the buildings, the streets, the cars, us humans, the dogs, the cats, the birds. No, I'm good. Leave that. Out. Leave the water in the ocean. Leave the water there. Not to mention certain places you just should have common sense. You know, you know, re do your research. You know, look up places where they, you know, wouldn't necessarily, you know, recommend your ass to go because it's like, you know, you go to a place you don't know these people. They could be crazy. All of a sudden, you hear a sphere go past your ear and it could have hit your damn head and you'd be motherfucking dead. You know, it's just certain places you should just leave the fuck alone because it's like some people, they're not welcoming. You know what I'm saying? They be like, get out of here. You know, whatever kind of accent they have. And, you know, you just have to be careful. You can't go every damn way. And if they say do not enter, then that means what it says. Do not motherfucking enter. It's just that simple. If you have a problem with it, I don't know what else to fucking tell you. But with all of that being said, you guys... If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Comment below um, some places that you were interested in going to uh, traveling-wise, but, you know, you might want to reconsider or any places that, you know, you can. You know, let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram and hit that notification bell so you guys can know when that video up and loaded. It's Black Shaw. Stay tuned.